In this video, I'm gonna show you how I killed the Tinkerbell boy for the sake of art. Hey there, my name is Hayes. You may know me as an artist and speed painter from Malaysia that has no problem crossing boundaries when it comes to art. Some people might call me a killer, but I like to call myself an artist. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I killed the Tinkerbell boy for the sake of art. It was a really tough decision, but I believe it was necessary to create something truly unique and special in the end. So come along with me on this dark journey into the mind of an artist and see what happens when creativity took over reason. So it all started with this Gun AI artwork that I generated and I intended to put one female and one male at a background that looks a little bit like Tinkerbell. So I tried my best because I thought that placing them both like this it would look like a very emotional dance. And like all relationships, we would try and fix everything before we give up on something. So of course, the first thing I did was to fix him. So I tried to re-warp and liquefy all the Gun Air artwork that is surrounding this Tinkerbell. And to be frank, most of my time was actually really spent on him. But of course, after some time, I realized something is wrong. So I began to work on the girl instead because I feel that running away from the problem and letting the problem breathe more would give me more time to figure out how to deal with the problem. And as I was editing the girl, I realized that it's a lot easier to work with the girl because everything seems to just be in place and everything just seemed to work. In my mind, I was thinking that I would end up with an artwork that is so cool because there'll be two of them dancing and one of them is in mid-air. I was really convinced that this would be my best art just yet. But the more I was working on the girl, the more I realized that there is a problem looming just behind me and that I have to face it really really soon. Right now, I feel that the problem is because both of them are black, they tend to flow into one another when you look at them. So you will look at the girl first and then eventually you would just go to the Tinkerbell. And this is not that great. That is not where I want the focus to be. So basically when it comes to composition, you need to have like a good pretty shape when it comes to the values. So the darkest values in these paintings are of course the, the Tinkerbell and this girl. But when you look at both of their silhouettes combined, they don't form a pretty shape. And of obviously they also do not form a distinct shape. So if you look at both of their silhouettes from far, you can't really tell what is going on and what is happening. So because of this, no matter how good the painting is, for any of these two elements, the female or the guy, it is not going to work if the composition is not communicating clearly. So right now we have a problem with communication because of the values contrast. Like when you see from far right now, it seems like you can only see both of their silhouette and the both silhouette means nothing from far. You can't tell them it's not distinct enough, the shapes. So once again, I ran away from Tinkerbell and I started working on the female again. Because the female is just such a joy to work with and it's so easy because everything just fall into place. All the shapes seems to flow together very, very nicely. And the more nicely they flow into together, it makes it very apparent that there is something very wrong with the other side of the painting. So I feel like I have to explain why I'm in this conundrum. So my goal is to take an gun air artwork that was generated using Wombo and then using my skills as an artist, I would actually repaint it and edit it in order to elevate its aesthetic value. So I can't actually repaint the whole thing because then there won't be any AI elements left. I have to retain most of the AI elements and work harmoniously together with the Gun AI artwork to create the art. So which is why I am always striving to keep most elements of the Gun AI artwork, which is why I'm trying to keep two silhouettes here 
which is the male and the female silhouette. And usually at the end of my painting exercise, I would do a simplification, which means I would edit down the artwork and remove a lot of elements that does not make sense, that clutter the painting and confuses the emotional message that I want to convey. But this is the first time that I'm creating this artwork and I'm forced to make this decision this early on when I am just painting. But anyway, let's just try and fix Think about first. So I've already stated that there is a value issue which is both of them is equally as dark and when you look at them from far, they seem like they are one shape and one silhouette and it does not make sense. So now I'm trying to give the Tinkerbell a new value which is a lot brighter and lighter so that he stands out apart from the girl. So this is what I have at the moment. You can already tell that this is quite an improvement compared to what we have before because at least both of the elements are separate from each other and distinct right now. You can tell that the blue is Tinkerbell and then black is the girl. But what message am I trying to convey in this painting? The problem is not only with the colour of the bodies, it's because it gives the feeling like he is very happy I have, I have no idea why I posed his expression to be happy and smiling like that and it makes him look a lot smaller than he actually is so I thought that once I place both of them into the scene it would look like he is very far away and she is trying to get to him but she couldn't and it's a very sad thing but now it looks like <laughs> a scene from Peter Pan it's almost like he's creeping up on her and like pranking her like yeah coming out like that so it's kind of funny in that sense and it it does not make any logical sense to have this composition this way so now I'm trying to move him about maybe if I put him lower it will look better like that but but it does not as well because of the scale his scale is just too small and that just makes him look comedic and it does not make any logical sense. So goodbye Tinkerbell, you will always be remembered. So to replace Tinkerbell, I'm going to make this floral explosion which is also like a final offering for him. Always remember my friends, nothing is permanent and everything is replaceable, even Tinkerbell. Sometimes when you encounter difficulties in your painting, maybe it's not because you're not good enough but maybe because you just have a Tinkerbell in your painting that you need to remove. And once you have let go of this burden, you can feel that everything just flows a lot more smoothly and everything is very very easy after that. And don't worry, Tinkerbell is never really gone because this is just a painting. You can still keep Tinkerbell in one of your layers. And once I'm done painting all these final offerings, I can then bring back Tinkerbell and see if he fits within this new painting. Wow, he actually looks a lot better right now. But still, I'm just gonna kill him. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Remember, you can still mint this artwork at min.hazelong.com and I hope you guys enjoy the comedy and the horror of this story. Um, it was something a bit different from my regular tutorials and videos and I hope you guys enjoy it. Do leave a comment and subscribe to my channel and follow me for my next step in my NFT journey. Bye!